Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Hey, I just want to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors of Simple Program, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain bootcamp and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer and today i got a bit of a personal question for you uh, which is basically would you still enter software development today knowing how you make your money now uh, this question is from will and he says i believe it is safe to say that you got your financial freedom through making a blog creating courses on your websites as well as Pluralsight, life coaching and leveraging financial gains to buy income producing real estate. Yes, that's, I would say that that's true. Knowing what you know now, would you still choose the programming field to get to where you are now if you had to start again and recreate it uh, all again from scratch tomorrow? Or would you choose another field to build your financial independence faster? This is a good question. You know, this is something that I've thought about quite a bit. Uh, it reminds me, I, I did a question or answered a question on do you, do you actually like programming? <laughs> Where someone asked me if I actually like programming, you know, and, and my answer was essentially yes because I, 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 that's why I got into the field, okay? I, I love programming. I love solving problems. I still love programming even though I don't do it. Now, uh, in, in that video, I talk about what I believe is my, my higher calling and, and why I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'm not going to go into the, the details there. But it, it's really interesting to ask the question of, you know, if I were, would I go, if I went back, what would I do, right? Would I become a programmer? Would I even get into programming at all? Or would I pursue some other avenue? Uh, and that's a tough one. I, I think from day to day, I would say that that changes in my mind, right? How, how I would answer that question. So there's a part of me, a strong part of me that says, yeah, I would have always been a programmer. I love programming. I love solving problems. All the stuff that I went through in my career to learn programming and to improve myself, uh, that, that is all related. Like, I'm, I'm glad that I took all those steps and got here, okay? And and I and I wouldn't give that up. And I would I would do it do it again, you know, because you got to do what you what you love. And at that time, I loved programming. So what, why would I do something different than that? Uh, but there's also a part of me that says, well, wait a minute. <laughs> it, you know, if if you're just going to strategically think about how would you become financially free as, as quickly as possible, how would how would you do that? What what would you what would you do? And then, uh, and then you'd be free to, to do whatever you wanted to do. And so that, that part of me says, oh, well, wait a minute. I would go back and when I was younger, when I was like 18, I would have never taken a job working for someone else. I would have figured out a way to rent a room and, for like, you know, a few hundred bucks a month and live on ramen and, and beans and eggs or, you know, whatever kind of cheap food that I could and, you know, just, just get by, maybe save up a little bit of money ahead of time and then just start building an online business. Get my costs, my expenses down as low as possible, right? I, I did this, uh, this video about unmortgaging your life, okay? Essentially, when you're born, you got a mortgage on your life. You got to pay some money to live, right? Your upkeep, you have an upkeep cost, okay? So as soon as you get to the point where your upkeep cost, where you're able to generate enough income, where it pays your upkeep cost, you're free. You've unmortgaged your life. You now own your life and your time back. Uh, other than that, you got to pay your time to other people, to, to someone that you work for that's going to pay you, that's going to give you a job, right? So that you can pay for food and shelter and all this stuff that, that you need, your new iPhone. Okay, but if you reduce your costs down as low as possible, then you can be free sooner. So, so that part of me says, hey, I would probably reduce my costs down as, as low as possible. I'd start a, an online business. Uh, you know, maybe I'd start the online business doing, probably creating software, right? So I'd probably be able to combine that and be a, a programmer and create some kind of an online business or software that I could sell. And I wouldn't have to make a lot of money maybe $500, $1,000 a month, I'd maybe have a year worth of runway to do it, and then I'd be free for the rest of my life, right? Because part of me regrets, even though I had a really successful career as a software developer, part of me regrets working for someone else 
for all that time. Now, when I say regret, I don't mean like I, I get all sad about it and, and upset. I, I feel like everything that happened in my life happened for a reason and that, that it took me where I am today and I'm grateful for that. But you know, if I just go back and think strategically, I would probably would do things a little, but you know, that's, that's the thing is like hindsight is 2020, right? So having the wisdom and knowledge that I have now, I could look at that and say that, but I can say this to you. If you're a young one out there, if, if you're considering your path in life, if you want to know what I would advise you to do that is going to really fucking piss off your parents, because I guarantee this advice will, is that I would say go rent a room for like 200 bucks a month, save up like $5,000, don't go to college. Instead, just start building an online business uh, right from the, the start. Uh, just get to the point where keep your expenses so low. I mean, just see how low can you live like a homeless person, basically. Where you, can you have such low expenses and then just build a business that it's going to be that that's going to reach that amount. I mean, if you if your expenses, if you can live off a thousand dollars a month, right? And I know some people can. I've done it before in, in my life. If you could reach that point and you could build a business that makes a thousand bucks a month, and I guarantee you, anyone can do that in a year. It's really not hard, especially if you have some programming skills. Believe me, you can build a business that makes a thousand dollars a year. You're free. You're free for for life, right? And and that, that will only go up in the next ten years. The, your income producing ability will go up, and and you can raise your your lifestyle. You don't have to live like a poor person forever, right? But that that's what I would advise, right? So you know, don't show this video to your parents. <laughs> Don't blame me when you uh, when you decide to do that. But that's what I would do, right? It doesn't mean you have to do that. There's other paths, there's other ways. But that's that's what I would do. Uh, so then, then one final part, I'll say, one other part of me says that man, you know what? Maybe you should have just skipped the programming thing altogether and just went into personal development and life coaching. Of course, you know there, there's a problem with that, which is that uh, you, <laughs> there, there's a lot of like 19-year-olds that are doing like life coaching and personal development type of coaching, and they don't have any life experience or wisdom uh, because they haven't gone through anything in life. So, you know, you can't really just start there. So, I think you got to do something else successfully first. So that again, you know, I think programming was was something that that allowed me to go down this path. Perhaps I would have started doing the entrepreneurial thing earlier, and that that would have been would have been better. But you know, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, maybe, maybe also I, I did acting and modeling a long, long time ago when I first started out. Uh, maybe I, I could have gone down that path because I enjoy performance, because I enjoy doing video, because I enjoy uh, that, that kind of thing, interacting with an audience and, uh, and, and that kind of performance type of thing. So I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't know if I, if I would do things necessarily differently. Uh, you know, the, the path that I went on took me to, work, to where I am now. I, I don't think that there is another way to get here. Uh, but, uh, but just something to think about for you. Uh, if you're thinking about the path that you want to go, uh, maybe consider some of the things that I, that I said here. If you want to be an entrepreneur, just start right away is, is what, I, what I would say. But, uh, but ultimately, I think that, like I said, I, I, I probably would have become a programmer <laughs> at, at some point. I was kind of destined, I think, to, uh, to go into some kind of performance, some kind of coaching, mentoring. Uh, you know, there's one other thing I'll point you to, which is I did a video on finding your purpose in life, okay? And in that video, I talk about my purpose in life and when I found it. And what I realized was that no matter what I was doing, I would always be learning as much as possible, simplifying it, and, and enthusiastically sharing it with other people teaching. Okay, that's what I would do no matter what. So that is what I did when I was a software developer. That's what I do now with my business with Simple Programmer. In 10 years, in 20 years, whatever I'm doing, I'll be doing that. I guarantee you that. So that that I know. And, and, and to me, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, it's how I'm doing it. So the, if I was a programmer or as a mechanical engineer or a construction worker, the fact that I was living my purpose of, of what I just said, that would be the most important thing to me, not, not the other stuff. So there you go. That's my answer to the question. Uh, hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, click that subscribe button below and I will talk to you next time. Take care.